Okay, so you saw me do it twice now. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. This is a tutorial on how to use LS Maker. Now what that is, it's basically a free lightsaber effect maker. So first off, you want to go to the site that hosts LS Maker. I'll give you the link. LS Sound, I can't really get that to work for me. But yeah, you, LS Sound also works as well. It's It's what creates the lightsaber sound effects. So yeah. So I created a folder called the uh, lightsaber. So uh, you go under LS Maker folder. You click on LS Maker. Yeah. So here it is. Now before we start, if you record a video, it must be an AVI. I don't know why, but it must be an AVI. Pictures that the format doesn't really matter, but videos specifically have to be an AVI. I'm sorry, but it just it just it has to. So yeah, you go to add and you go to the folder where your video is. Open. You'll notice that there's more than one file. You'll you'll probably think, "Wow, did I really import all this?" No, it just, this is just frame by frame stuff. So you see down here, import video import method. Now basically, it, this is like one of those things. Like if one doesn't work, try the other. So if Standard for AVI, AVS video doesn't work. Or if it comes out all black, try importing again. This time, direct show, not just for AVI. See, now there's a picture. Okay, so basically, here's the color, like the main blade color. You can choose from a variety of like uh Blue, white, green, black, purple, yellow, all the other colors you've seen in Star Wars and the spin-offs. So we're going to demonstrate with blue. Plus the clash effects and the little seeker that Luke was using in episode 4 to train himself is also in here. So yeah, and the blade is the, is the whitish part of it. So yeah, you can choose that to be any other color as well, but really you want it to be... Uh, white to look like the actual lightsabers from the movie sorry I'm just a little bit tired alright so you can adjust the width here and you go to auto you, uh, there's a whole bunch of settings I just can't explain them at the moment so yeah uh, mo what most people do are uh, two points basically uh, you plot the points on the frame and then you press uh, you press set points preview or render the frame so yeah so I'm gonna set the uh, the first width to 15 and the second width to 15 because it looks a lot better and then you want when you want to render the uh, blade you you always want to put both the, both the color and the blade to one and then what you do is you right click on the picture and left click on the picture that's the two plot that's the two points where your lightsaber is going to appear now just to stop here and note here um this it this isn't this is going to take you an excruciatingly long time because it you have to replot the points every every frame so like if you plot the points here and move on to the next frame they'll be gone and you have to plot them again it it takes a while but really it's worth it so yeah, so we're gonna do a preview just to show where there it is. Yeah, so it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much uh, straightforward from here. And then to go to the next frame, you press uh, the, the you press P. And as you see here, the lightsaber is gone. But if you go back a frame, it's still there. Yeah, just screwing up a little bit, but don't worry. So yeah, everything's pretty much straightforward. Just basically plot the points and then render them. If you want, like, what's annoying is that everything resets after you, after you go to the next frame. So if you st if you specifically know what you want, what you want to do is hit lock. This locks the this locks the blade render. This locks the first width and second lit width. It basically locks everything. So yeah, I hope this helped, and I'll see you later. And if anyone's wondering why my screen is always flickering when I'm doing these type of captures, it's because Magic's Movie Edit Pro 12 exports this way. I don't know why I keep... I turn on anti-flicker, but that does absolutely nothing. So yeah, I just live with it.